Hello, hello, everyone. Are you there? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Hello, How teacher. Hello, hello, teacher. Lawrence. <laughs> let me see. Let me check. How is my people doing? Okay. Let's see. So, how are you, Rafael? How are you doing? Fine, thank you. It was a, a hard day. Really? Yes, really. Why? I'm tired. Why you... Oh, you're tired. I, I had a lot of, of job. Work to do. Yes. Okay, I got you. I understand you, but hey, look at you. <laughs> at least you're in class, and that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Claudia Maria, how are you, Claudia? Hello, Cher. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. I was, I was missing your cat behind your back. <laughs> there <Yes. he> is. <laughs> Let me see. It's a pleasure to have you in today's class, Claudia. Let me see, Armando Antonio, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine, excellent, very good. Good to see you in class. Yeah, I really. I very ready. Good. Okay, it's good that you're ready. Let yeah. me check. How is Andrea Sosa? How are you, Andrea? I didn't see you yet in yesterday's class. Uh, Andrea, how are you? Hmm. Weird. Let's see, Marvin, how are you? It's so well, teacher. I really see this afternoon. I right. happiness to start the class. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I can see that you're still resting. <laughs> okay, just don't fall asleep during the class, okay? <laughs> and that's enough. That's... <laughs> okay, great. Because we're going to work a lot today. Let me see. Harry Macarena, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, Diane. How are you, Diane? Very well, so happy. Why are you so happy? <laughs> because my favorite artist made uh, a lot of video. Really? That's so cool. Excellent. Great. Good for you. Let me see. How are you, Florence? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. And you? Great. Thanks for asking. I'm surprised. I didn't know that your hair was uh, blonde. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yes. Um, always have um, my hair. Like blonde? Um, I think it's blonde from since yes. you're born. <laughs> okay, that's great. Excellent, Florence. Good to see you in class. Thank you so much. Let's check. How are you, Noemi? How is it? How is everything going on? Hi, Miss. Uh, all it was okay today. Excellent. Very I good. Was new challenge. Ah. Huh? I was new challenge. You uh you were you were in a new challenge. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Excellent. Why do you say that? Um. It was a new experience for me, and I, I love it. That's great. It's good that you're positive about it. It's great. Uh, it's a new opportunity for me, and I believe that uh, for future, mm -hmm. uh, it will be the best form that I have, but get a new performance mm. Mm. that's great excellent i love your attitude your positives it's okay it's great very good naomi it's good to see you in class and i hope you're ready to participate as always yeah excellent very good let's see ada gabriela how are you ada hello teacher fine 
Excellent. Very good. Good. I don't see you, but it's good to have you in class. <laughs> Let me see. Who else do we have? Rene Samuel. How are you, Rene? Hi. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. It's good to hear you. Let me see. Elsie de Carballo. How are you, Elsie? Okay, hi, did Vasquez. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. It's great. You're great. Excellent. Very good. That's the attitude. Let's see. Let's give the welcome to Cesar. How are you, Cesar? I feel tired, but go at here. Okay, that's great. I know that you're tired, guys, because I know that you work a lot. This is for everyone, but uh, um, my because because body my body is feeling defenses. Um, oh, did you get the VAT sign? The yes, and, yeah. and yesterday. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the reason. Then there you have it. That's the reason, the bad sign. Let me see, Karina Jimenez, how are you? I'm fine. I feel better than yesterday. Really? Hey, what happened to you yesterday? Were you, were you sick or I'm, something? I'm sick. I, I'm sick of my throat. Ah, yeah, I, I remember. Now I remember that you told me, but it's good that you're better. Thanks yes. God. <laughs> yes. It's great to see you, Karina. Let me see, Fatima Rivas. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Um, a little sleepy, but fine. <laughs> You're fine. Excellent. That's the attitude. Very good. Yeah, I got you. Some of you work all day long, and that's the reason why you're tired. But it's good that you're in class. Yeah. Let me see, Christian. How are you, Christian? But I hope that everything is going to be all right. Uh, I don't know what's going on with you, <laughs> but no matter what, let's pray that you'll be okay, all right? Uh, As you mentioned, you. it's going to be all right. <laughs> let's pray for it. <laughs> see, but it's good to see you in class. It's great that you're here, okay? You can have the support that you need when you're in class. Let me see, Luis Alonso, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. It's great to see you, Luis. Let me check somebody else. Ah, oh, there you are. So, Lisette, how are you, Lisette? Hi, teacher. I'm very good. I'm ready to the class. Excellent, very good. Hey, Lisette. I have new content for you also <laughs> about oh. remember, if you don't remember about yesterday. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. It's good that you're in class because I'm okay. going to introduce you, that, yeah. that information. Let me see, Herson, how are you, Herson? Hey, teacher, I'm fine. Hey, what happened to you? Again? Mm -hmm. I didn't see you yesterday. Yes, but um, I finished work at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, Sorry. no, no, I, I got your point. But everyone, uh, good to see you, Harrison, although I don't see you, but I know yet that you're here. <laughs> Let me see. Everyone, remember that if for one reason, or another, you cannot get into the class, into the virtual class, which is the best option for you to practice your English and to learn more content. But even if it is for one reason or another, you still can see or watch the class online, right? On YouTube or on Facebook, as far as I understand. So you can check it. And if you want, you can also ask me for the presentation or extra material. 
all right? So that you're not stepping behind, you're stepping forward, okay? Excellent. Very good to see you, everyone. Let me see. I'm going to share the PPT. Okay. There you have it. Do you see the PPT? Yes. Yes. And thank you. So yeah. today is Tuesday, August 10. We are still in section four. We're just about to finish the section. And I think, I believe <laughs> that today we're going to start new content related to section five. Let's wait for it. We are in class 12, right? So let me see. I have this like an extra material for you. And this is about punctuation marks. I think it's pretty important for you to, to see punctuation marks due to you are going to use them whenever you are making sentences, right? So let's see, I'm going to ask each of you to read one of the punctuation marks, okay? Let me see, I'm going to start with Diane, can you please read the first one, the red one? Uh, coma. Coma, exactly. That's one of the punctuation marks that we have. Rafael, continue please. Apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Exactly, apostrophe. Then Fatima and Karina, continue, please. Hyphen. Hyphen, exactly. And although if you already saw this topic, it's good for you to refresh your mind, just as, as it's good for me to refresh my mind. And there you have it, okay? Jessica Elizabeth, can you please read the following? Ellipsis. Ellipsis, excellent, very really good. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Florence. Full stop or period. Mm -hmm. Exactly, either or, right? It could be either full stop or period. Cesar, continue, please. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Excellent, thank you. Noemi Jesenia, help me with the next one, please. Question mark. Question mark, there you have it. Armando Antonio, continue with the with this one that I think it's pink. Orange, orange. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. Excellent, very good, thank you. Marvin, continue with the following, please. Brackets or mm -hmm. brackets. Brackets, excellent, very good, thank you. Elvis Abrego, continue. Yes, please. Column. 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 Excellent, very good. And let's see, where is my friend? Uh, Lisette, please, continue. Uh, semicolon. Exactly. There you have it. <laughs> semicolon. That's how we should say it yesterday. <laughs> it's semicolon. Thank you. Let me see. Karina Jimenez, continue, please. Slash. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Crisia, continue, please. Um. Quotation. What? Quotation marks. Uh -huh. Quotation marks. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Fatima Rivas, the last one. Dash. Excellent. Okay, everyone. So there you have it. Just in case if you uh, don't remember so well or something, there you have it. All right. We were just checking that before getting to the next. What do you remember from last class? Let's see, we have, we only have three questions and I believe that these ones are going to be pretty easy for you. Let me see. What's the structure for world in questions? Let me see. 
Mm. I'm gonna ask. Karina mm. Jimenez, what's the structure for wolf in questions? Uh, is wolf plus subject plus bear plus two plus bear mm -hmm. question mark mm -hmm. excellent very good good that you remember the question marks excellent yes. thank you let's see what's the structure number two what's the structure that we use when accepting invitations with wool let me see Claudia Maria. <laughs> um, subject plus wood plus verb plus two plus verb plus complement. Excellent. Very really good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Good that you remember. And last but not least. What? <laughs> What's the structure that we use to refuse an invitation with wool? Let's see, Rafael. Your microphone. Uh, wait a minute. What is... I don't know if you're stay until the last. No. Mm, until the last part of the class yesterday, no, right? No, no, no. Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, se salvo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if somebody else. What about Diane? Do you remember, Diane? What's the structure that we use to refuse an invitation? F to get plus wall plus verb plus two plus verb is but. Exactly. Very good. Semicolon, but. <laughs> Excellent, pretty good. Thank you so much, okay? So as far as you can see, those are the constructions or structures that we have when using WULT. Talking about this as a model there, all right? Now let's move on. This was part of yesterday's class, but before you to practice, before you practice, I need you to check this information. The use of world in questions and answers. And there you have it, okay? This is the structure, the basic structure that we have. And then we have this information. Before getting into the practice, I need somebody else to read this information. Let's see. Marvin Joseph, can you please read the first question? Would you like to go out on Friday? Excellent, thank you. Herson, tell me the answers to this question. Um, yes, I will. Yes, I love to, thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Excellent, thank you very much. Noemi, ask the second question, please. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Excellent, very good. Let's see, Heidi Vasquez. Tell me the answers to the second question. Hi, teacher. Can you please tell me the answers to the second question or to question number two? I like I like to pass leave to save to save money. On the first one, I'd like to, but I have. I have. Sorry. Yeah, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Continue, please. Um, I like to, but but need to save save money. Mm -hmm. Continue, the last one. Um, 
I like, I like to bat, want to visit my parents. Exactly. There you go. Thank you so much. And of course, as you learned yesterday, I is the contraction, right? That's basic. Now that you have reviewed this part, let's go to the following. Your practice time, all right? Yes, means we practice in the platform. But yes, my dear students, you're going to practice in my class too. Okay, so there you have it. Let me see. Teacher, one question. Uh-huh, tell me your question. Uh, I remember um, sometime uh, uh, one, one teacher say me to the next to the work wall, uh, use do. For example, what do you like? Uh, some drink some coffee. Mm. When I use do next next to the wall. Mm, no, you don't need to use do next to wall. You can use to. For example, will you like to drink coffee? But you don't use do. Okay, that's unless, thank you. Unless you're talking about, will you like to do this for me? Como te gustaría hacer esto por mí? Will you like to do this for me? Because you have the verb do, right? But other than that, that's the only case in which we can use it. Because according to the structure, yes, you need to use another verb after will. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, all right. So let me see, Diane, can you please read the instructions? Instruction. One, word, word individuality. Two, creative Individual, Individually. Word individually. Mm -hmm. Two, cre creative one question using wall. Three, search your question with the class. Excellent, thank you. Very good. All right, everyone. So take your time, create your question, and then you're going to pass, all right? You already know the structure, and that's basic. Let me know when you're finished. I finish. Great. Excellent. Finish. Good. Great, Mauricio. Great. Thank you. Finish. Ready. Ready. All right. That's great. Let's see. So let's start with. Let me check. I'm going to start with Cristian Munoz, please. If you have it, of course. If not, don't worry. Yes. Um, 
what would you do if you only had six months to live? <laughs> to live. <laughs> yeah. Good good question. That's like that, that's like incredible. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to travel. <laughs> of course, that will be awesome. Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Very good. Let me see. Diane. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me your question. Um, would you, would you like to go party tomorrow? Okay. Will you like to go party tomorrow? Park. 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 Parque. Ah, park. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm deaf. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Very really good. Will you like to go to the park tomorrow? That's great. Wonderful invitation. What about Rafael? Would you like to play tennis tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Great, excellent. We are following the structure. Let's go with Lisette. I love to marry with me tomorrow. Will you? Love to marry with me tomorrow. Would you like to marry me? Would you like to marry me tomorrow? Yes. Excellent. Very good, girl. <laughs> Excellent. Let me see. Cesar. Uh, would you like to eat hamburger? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Simple as food. <laughs> Armando Antonio. Would you drink coffee with me? Will you drink coffee with me? Excellent. Good. Thank you. Rene Samuel. Yes. Your question. Would you like to eat with us? With you? Will will you will you like to eat what at the end? With use. With use. With us. Ah. Me gustaría comer con nosotros. Ah, with us. With us. Excellent. Really good. Thank you, Samuel. Yeah, it's great. With us. Would you like to eat with us? Good. Let me see, Jessica, Elizabeth. Would you like to go to the gym with me? Mm -hmm. Excellent, good invitation. <laughs> Let me see. Let's go with Farima, Farima Rivas. Would you like to eat Italian food tomorrow? Excellent, very good. Lois, your turn. Luis Alonso. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would you like uh, to buy this t shirt? Mm -hmm. You could also say, Would you like to buy this t shirt for me? <laughs> All right, that's great. Let's see, Marvin. Would you like to dance with me on Saturday night? Mm -hmm. Excellent, good. Let's go with Jimmy. Uh, would you like to eat pizza? Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Florence. Will she like to watch movie with her sister? Mm -hmm. Will she like? Excellent, really good. Will she like to watch a movie with her sister? Excellent. Let me see, Mauricio, I already have yours in the chat box. Walter, do I have Walter in here? 
Yes. Okay, Walter. <laughs> uh, would you like to go eat pizza after to the class? Excellent, very good. Why is everybody eating pizza? <laughs> Let's think about pollo campero or something else. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's go with Karina Marisol. Would you like to go to the movies next weekend? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Now let me see if I have Noemi. Would you like to dance with me? Excellent, very good. Good, good, good. Am I missing somebody? Let me see. Um, Heidi Vasquez. I will, I will to like to visit Australia. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Would you like to visit Australia? Excellent. Ada Gabriela. Uh -huh. Ada? Hmm. Let me see. What else do we have here? Herson, your sentence. Would you like to watch the soccer game tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Tomorrow. Very good. Thank you. And Jocelyn Rodriguez. I would like to eat hamburger the Wendy's. Mm, okay. Your sentence, it, it's good, but right now we are making questions. Okay, so how could you create a question? Will you, da da da, like an invitation, right? To do something or to eat something. Hello, teacher, sorry. Who's talking? <laughs> hello, teacher. Ah, hello, Ada, yes, there you are. Hi. I would like to play tennis on Sunday. Uh, but in questions, because right now. Mama. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Questions. Right now, I need questions like this ones. Will you go? Play, will you play soccer? Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Will you play soccer? Excellent. Thank you. All right, everyone. Very good. It's good that you have your examples, you know how to create questions. Let's move on. When accepting invitations, we use the following structure. Okay, and just in case, for example, I don't know, Rafael, if you have this structure, if not, you can copy this structure, this structure, and there you have it. We have subject plus will plus verb plus to plus verb plus component. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see. And there you have it. We have the practice time. Now, before practicing, I would like to show you these um, examples that I have. Number one, I would like to go to the movies with you. Now in here, you are accepting an invitation, okay? You are not asking someone to do something, you are accepting something. Number two, I would love to visit your mother, okay? Those are my examples. Look at the instructions. Let me see. Mauricio, can you please read the instructions? Okay. okay. Uh, instructions. Work individual individually. Create one sentence in which you accept an invitation. Use will when create the sentences, share the sentences, the sentence 
with the class. Excellent. There you have it. Imagine that somebody is asking you to do something. Would you like to go with me to the movie theater? Would you like to go eating pizza? Anything. All right. Imagine an invitation and create an answer for that invitation. All right. Keep an eye on this. You are accepting the invitation right now. You, can, you can't deny the invitation. You're just accepting. Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Great. Excellent. Finish. Great. Excellent. Thank you. I finished. Uh -huh. Good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Melissa. Finish. All right. So I think we may start, right? Let me see. We are going to start with. Fatima Rivas. Yes, I would. I like to see a movie tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Fatima Rivas. Yes, I would like to see a movie with you tomorrow. Okay, excellent, Fatima. Thank you. Fabiola. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> The question and answer. No, right now, just the answer. Imagine that somebody has invited you to something, to do something or anything or to eat something, and you just need to give an answer. Okay. Uh, would you like to visit Miramundo the next Sunday? Yes, I would like to go with you. Excellent. Really good. It's good. Thank you. Let me check Luis Alonso. Um, the, the answer. Mm -hmm. The answer. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Um, uh, yes, I would love to eat pizza at night. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. That was great. I am hungry. <laughs> yeah, everyone is hungry by, by this time. <laughs> Let's go with Rafael, please. Yes, I really like to eat an ice cream. Mm -hmm. Good, great. Diane? Yes, I would like to go to the park with you. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Some of you are answering the same questions that you had and that's great, excellent. Let me see, Karina Jimenez. Yes, I would like to be your friend. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes, I would like to be your friend. Excellent. Jessica Elizabeth. Yes, I would like to go to the gym with you. Good. That's great. <laughs> Fatima Karina Rodriguez. I would love to cook dinner with you on Sunday. Okay, excellent. Good, Fatima Karina. Thank you. Let's go with Cesar. I would like to go to the beach tomorrow. I would like to go to the beach tomorrow. Excellent. Very good. Everyone loves the beach. Excellent. <laughs> Florence? I would like to travel with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I would like to travel with you. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, remember that it, it's good, Florence. Amazing. Thank you. Remember that you can either say, yes, I would, or you could only say, I would like to. And then you continue, right? Let me see. Where was I? Ah, yeah, in here. <laughs> yeah, let's continue with Claudia Maria. Yes, I would love to go to your new house. Great. Thank you, Claudia. Great, great. Let's go with Karina Marisol. Yes, I would love to sing in a karaoke next Saturday. Excellent. Very good. Crisia Muñoz. Uh, Florence is uh, stole my answer. <laughs> Your answer. Oh my gosh, Florence, you girls are connected. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me another one. Think about another one. We have plenty of answers. Oh, but I am going to change something. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. I would love to travel around the world with my BF. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Now you see, you changed something and it changed completely the idea. Great. Listen. I love to. Thanks for your invitation to Cinema at Night. Excellent, very good. This is Armando Antonio. Armando Antonio, are you there? If not, Marvin, please. Yes, I would like to go out with you. Mm -hmm. Great. Walter? I would like to have a lot of money. Yes, I would like to have a lot of money. Everyone, everyone wish that. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Noemi? I would like to visit the church with your daughter. Excellent, very good. Jimmy? 
I would like to play soccer with you. Excellent, thank you. Mauricio, please read yours. I saw I saw your answer on the chat box, but I need you to read it, please. Okay. Um, yes, I will study English with you. Mm -hmm. Great, excellent, very good. Now we're practicing. And last but not least, Herson. Um, uh, yes, I will like to watch the soccer game. Okay, excellent. Now you see everyone, some of you invented some, um, some answers to any invitation and so many people also answered their own question. And that's phenomenal. That's great. Very good job. I think we are working very well. Let's move on. We have, when refusing an invitation, we use the following structure. Let me see, Fabiola, can you please read this structure? We are refusing an invitation, we use the following structure. Subject plus one plus verb plus two plus verb. Mm -hmm. Semicolon. Semicolon. Back. Excellent. Very good. Same my column. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, we review we review that part of uh symbols Fabiola at the beginning of the class. You miss it. <laughs> okay. okay, excellent. All right, thank you, Fabiola. Let's move on. We have this guiding examples. Pay attention carefully to this. I'd love to go with you, but I can't. Period. No more explanation. You just want to go and you refuse. And then we have another one, which is a little bit polite. Like we, could, we could call it like that. I would love to visit your mother, but I have to work late. All right, you are being politeness and that's great. But we need that for this world, all right? Now let's work on yours. Create your own, um, your own, your own sentences, your own sentence, refusing an invitation, all right? Let's work on it. On your notebooks. Now imagine that you're refusing your own invitation. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, tell me your question. I use comma or semicolon. You can use either comma or semicolon, but let's check this. Yeah, they are using comma in here, but also if you notice on the platform, they use semicolon. So you can use semicolon or comma. All right, okay. but I know, but no, in this case, you really need the same my column. All okay. right, my column. Very good question. Thank you. Thanks. You're
Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Yes. Great. Finish. Good. Finish. Great. Finish, teacher. All righty, y'all. Can we can we can start? Let me see. I'm going to start with. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with Marvin. Refuse an invitation, Marvin. The question, teacher. No, I need you to refuse an invitation. Oh, I like I to go, invitation. but I have to work late. Or I, I love to eat, but I have to study. Excellent, really good, Marvin. Two in one row. Thank you. Fabiola. Yes, teacher. I would love to visit Miramundo, but I don't have money. Mm -hmm. This is my case. <laughs> Thank you, Fabiola. Let's go with okay. Rafael. I like to go to the beach next weekend, but I will have to my uncle's birthday. Okay, excellent. But I have my uncle's birthday. Excellent. Diane? I would like to go to the park with you, but I can. <laughs> excellent, really good. I'm not saying anything else, just I can't. <laughs> Great. Jimmy? Okay, I would like to play soccer with you, but I have visit my grandparents. Good, that's a great reason. That's a great excuse. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I'd like to travel with you, but I have to English class all week. But I have English classes all week. All right. Excellent. Luis, thank you. Ada. Ada Gabriela. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, tell me your sentence. I, I'm sorry, teacher. Can, can you repeat, please? Okay. Um, the activity was about for you to create one question in which you, you refuse somebody's invitation. For example, if I told you, Ada, would you like to go with me to the beach? Refuse me, reject me, rechace me. How will you do that? Teacher. Mm, okay, uh, I don't know if everybody, if somebody else, it's having the same problem with me. Or? No, I hear you. No, no, you hear me. Okay, yeah, I was worried about my internet. That's why I'm asking. Estaba aquí en el teléfono llamándole a la compañía. All right. Okay, Ada, don't worry. You can create yours, and you will pass next class. I won't forget about you. Let's see. Andrea Sosa. Uh, would you like to eat jelly with me? Yes, I would like. I yes, I would love jelly, but I'm late for work. Okay, yeah, great. <laughs> but I'm late for work. Excellent. I don't have Patricia in here. That's where she always gets into the class, but I don't see her. Let's go with Noemi. 
I like to celebrate your birthday with you, but for that date, I have to travel to another country. Great, very good. Walter? I would like to go eat pupusa after to the class, but I can't. But I can't, excellent. No more excuses, just I can't. Claudia Maria? I would love to go out with you, but I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Great. Elvis Abrego? Yes, sir, chair. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to watch TV. It's nice, but I have to work tomorrow in the morning. Great. Excellent. Mauricio? I would like to climb the Santana, the Santana volcano, but I have to do jogging with my friends. Okay, great. Thank you, Mauricio. Farima Rivas. I would like to swim tomorrow, but I can't because I am sick. Excellent, very really good, good excuse. Let me see, Crisia Muñoz. I would like to kiss you, but your breath is killing me. Okay. <laughs> that's so rude. <laughs> Girl, that's so rude, but it's true. <laughs> Karina Marisol. I would like to eat hamburger, but I am on diet. Mm, great. Excellent. Gerson Amaya. I will love to go to the beach with you but i have to visit my parents mm -hmm. great thank you Jerson. raul sarceño let me check raul mm, you're not here Florence? I would love to go to the movie theater with you, but I have homework. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Let me see, Lisette Velasco. I like to go to the beach in the week, but I have to work all week. Excellent, really good, thank you. And last but not least, um, Jessica Elizabeth. I would love to go to the park, but I have to work late. Excellent, really good, thank you. Karina, you haven't passed, right? Karina Jimenez, you haven't passed, right? No. Okay, tell me. I will have I I would love to eat with you, but I but I don't like Chinese food. Mm -hmm. That's straight. Excellent, everyone. I'm proud of you guys. Pretty good work in here. Excellent. You did well. And I hope you're doing the same job in your platform. In your platform. It's great. Congratulations, C. Let's move on. We are just about to finish the class. We have a scanning for important information. Now listen in here. You have a specific exercises for this part on the platform. Right now, we are just going to read the information. I need to check your reading, how are we pronouncing, and all the stuff. So let's just start with Cesar. Read the first paragraph, please. Uh, Cristina Aguilera, too far. She has multiple hat singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. Here are some higglings of Christina's life and career. Career, excellent. Repeat after me, Cesar. Hit. 
Hit. Three times, Cesar. Hit, hit, hit. Career. Career. Career, career, career. Bravo, excellent, thank you. 1980, Rafael, please. Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. Thank you. 1988, Mauricio. Uh, Cristina sings a song in the Disney movie, Mulan. Mm, 1998. 1998. Mm -hmm. 1988? Yeah. Cristina first appears. Ah, you read that one. I'm sorry. I was getting confused, Mauricio. Sorry. My bad. That, so is that okay or what? Yeah. No, you're okay. You're okay. That's ah, my bad. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Continue, Fabiola, 1992, please. Nineteen ninety-two. Christina is on TV in Disney. New Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Claudia Maria, nineteen ninety-four. Christina records all I wanna do with. Iso na a Japanese pop star. <laughs> she tours Japan. Excellent, thank you. Luis Alonso, 1998. Uh, <clears throat> Cristina sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Thank you. Mm, let me see, Marvin, 1999. Christina has her first big hit, Genie on the Bottle. Excellent. Mm, Noemi, 2021. Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Mowing Rope. Mowing Ropes, excellent, very good. Great movie, by the way. <laughs> Let me see, Florence, 2022. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Excellent, very good. Repeat after me, Florence, performs. Performs, performs, performs. Thank you very much, Karina Jimenez, 2024. Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Awards for Beautiful. Yes, indeed. Great song. Thank you, Karina. And I will ask somebody else. Let me see. Karina Marisol, read the last part. Overall. Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She loves a simple love, my job. So do all Christina's fans. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, I was checking your pronunciation, your vocabulary, and it's pretty get great. It's pretty good. All right, so we're going to finish the class in here. For tomorrow, we are going to start section five. Please, just as always, don't forget to practice on the platform. I need you to move forward. And if you have any questions, I'm begging you, please let me know. I'm gonna help you. But I need you to move faster, right? On the platform. All right, everyone, that was pretty much it for today's class. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 I finished the platform. Bye. Okay, excellent. Yeah, practice on the platform. Finish. Thanks. Ah, oh, you already finished. That's great. Yes. All right. Bye. Goodbye, everyone.